welcome to Red Light Method's group power plate class. If you are clear to jog, you're clear to use the power plate. If you're not clear to jog or run, then you can go ahead and pull up one of our stools, adjust it to the height setting, and then sit placing your feet on the power plate, and you can follow along class that way. So grab a mat, grab some dumbbells, and then head over to your power plate. The power plate is just so amazing for you. It activates 138% more muscle fibers than just doing the same exercise without the power plate. It burns 50% more calories using the power plate than not, so you can get more workout in half the time. There are different settings on your power plate. Relax is the nicest setting. It is a less vigorous vibration. And then strength is the next more vigorous. And then massage setting is the most intense vibration level. We encourage you to start at relax as you're a beginner and then progress up and then choose 60 seconds. After you've selected those, hit start. And then after the timer ends, just hit the repeat button for the remaining portion of your class. Block one, warm up. Okay, go ahead and press start and we're gonna begin our warm up. Our first warm up is walking in place. So you're just gonna slightly lift your knees, not too high that they hit this handle, but lift the knees, stand tall, let your shoulder blades draw back, engage your core and breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, nice and deep. Option here, if you'd like a little more challenge, you don't have to hold on. You can reach your arms overhead or take your hands to your hips, whatever feels good. This is just our 60 second warm up on the vibration plate for our group power plate class. Good, if you need to at any time, just take your hands on to hold on to help with balance here. The micro vibrations are so good for the body. They help to get our blood flow and circulation. And 10 minutes on this is like a 30 minute jog. It's pretty amazing for you. Good job. <laughs> All righty, so we're gonna go ahead and hit the repeat button at the top right, so hit repeat, and then we're gonna go down into a static squat. So with your squat, it's important that you move your toes towards the front of the vibration plate platform. So you wanna see your toes in front of your knees, hold on to the handle, and then sit back. You could either stay in this position or add a small pulse at your knees. Let your shoulder blades draw down, keep it, Pay attention to posture because we don't want to have our shoulders rounded or anything here. So keep the collarbone wide, the shoulders down, and pull your belly button in tight towards your spine. Continue to breathe as we add in our pulse here. You can always go to a lower angle if you'd like a little bit more of a challenge and add a pulse. Or to make it a little nicer, just come up a little. So your choice here. This is just our warm up. It's a lot more effective on the power plate. You activate 138% more muscle fibers than you do without being on the power plate. All righty, you guys, good job. Block two, lower body legs and glutes. All right, go ahead and hit repeat. Bring your left foot to the very front center and we're gonna step down and lift. Left leg for the next 60 seconds. Option one is you're gonna keep your hands on. If you'd like, you can add a kick with the back leg. We're keeping the left foot planted the entire time. Nice breathing. Draw your belly button in, keep your shoulder blades down, collarbone nice and wide. If you'd like a little extra challenge, you don't have to use the handle. With the vibrating, it's a little more challenging, so feel free to use the handle at any time. Good, plant um, softly with your back foot. All the work is in the top left leg. This is great for the glutes. Okay, when you guys are ready, hit repeat. We're gonna go on the same leg for another 60 seconds. And if this is getting to be too much for you, if you're over it, <laughs> feel free to bring both feet up and continue into a squat. Your choice. So this is an option if your left leg is fatigued. Otherwise, let's continue on. Good job. Down, adding that lift if you'd like. And again, if you want the balance challenge, you could take your hands to your hips. 
it really helps using the handle. <laughs> Good job. This is a great one for the glutes. <sighs> okay, good job. We'll come all the way up. Press repeat, right leg. Down and up. Good breathing. Shoulder blades are down. The foot is placed right in the middle front of your power plate platform. Again, option if you'd like to kick the back leg out behind you. Option to take your hands to your hips or anywhere that feels comfortable. It really does help though to hold on. Good job, you guys. Feel it in your glutes all of your right leg muscles. This is great for balance and stability. It's a very functional movement. Good job, you guys. <laughs> okay, go ahead and hit repeat and we're gonna continue our second minute. Single leg step ups. Again, if this is too much for you, Bring both feet forward and go into just dynamic squats here. Your choice. We'll go back into our last part here of glutes. Squeeze into the glute and then make sure your knees right over that toe as well. Don't feel bad if you have to hold on, it's all good. The power plate really adds a lot of challenge to this exercise. We're gonna be sore later. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, good job, you guys. Block three, full body combo. In this block, we're gonna incorporate dumbbells. So feel free to omit dumbbells if you'd like. Okay, you guys, we're moving into block three. So grab your weights. Here we go. Left leg's on, hit repeat. We're gonna step up, bicep curl, overhead press. Stay balanced the whole time if you can. Now again, you do not have to use dumbbells with this if you don't want to. Otherwise, just omit the dumbbells and hold on. Good, so the left foot is towards the front middle of your power plate. We wanna step up, curl, rotate the palms, Press straight up. Curl, rotate, press. Same principles, abs are engaged, good breathing. I suggest doing a lighter weight, like maybe five pounds, even three pounds. If you're a ninja, go for some eights. Good job, you guys. Go ahead and hit repeat. Right leg's on, here we go. Step up, bicep curl, balance, rotate your palms towards the front, overhead press. Full body combo. Good job, you guys. It's okay if you need to use your balance leg at any time, feel free to put it down. So you can always keep that foot balanced if you need to. Good job, you guys. Awesome, hit repeat. We're gonna take our feet out wide. Arms come overhead, you could press your weights in. Squat, arms go back, triceps, press and extend. Squat, tricep. 
Use your breath, pull your belly button in tight towards your back. Squat overhead. You don't have to go super low for your squat. If you have a very heavy weight, feel free to get rid of one of your weights and just do it with one weight if you need to. Nice breathing. Tighten your core. Good job, you guys. Woo, awesome work. All right, we're moving into planking or block four. Feel free to go into rest position at any time or modify on your forearms or knees. If you're unable to get down to the floor for planking, simply continue class standing on the power plate with your knees bent. Okay guys, we're going into planking next, so we're gonna place this pad on top of the um, vibration plate, your power plate, and then we're gonna use our remote. So when you guys are ready, go ahead and hit start. Here we go. You can come onto your hands, toes come back. We're gonna hold a plank position. Now if you need to modify this, you can come to your knees or you can come down to your forearms, or at any time, you can come back into rest pose, my favorite pose. So feel free to honor your body, come into any position that you would like. So any plank position. We have 60 seconds plank hold. Tighten your abs, tighten your glutes, draw your shoulders down, use your breath. Make sure your head stays in good alignment with your spine. And again, you can modify if you need to, come to your knees at any time, it's all good. Nice breathing. Pull the belly button in tight towards the spine. All righty, let's hit the button again. And here we go, we're gonna do 60 seconds of push-ups. So we're going down and lift. Good, only go as low as you can keep your head in alignment with your spine. Of course, you could do real push-ups if you'd like. I'm gonna demonstrate the modified version. <laughs> Good, elbows bend and press up. Again, do as much push-up as you feel comfortable with. And at any time, if you'd like, you could press back into rest pose. Where you're just keeping your hands on the shake plate as you sit your heels or your glutes back towards your heels. Try different variations as well. You could do a tricep or a wide push-up. It's up to you. Good job, you guys. You're almost done with your 30 or 60 seconds of push-ups. Great work. Use your breath. All right, good job. Next, we're gonna sit, press, repeat. Here we go. Tricep dips, so hands are on, scooch the hips off, we bend and press up. Good. Continue here, take a break at any time if you need to on your triceps. I'll demonstrate the break. Good job, you guys. Keep up the good work. If you need to do a little stretch at any time, just have a seat and you could stretch your triceps. You guys are doing great. Almost done here, great work. Awesome. Moving into block five, which is core, bridging, and abs. We'll be laying down on a mat. So if you're not able to lie down on the floor, go ahead and just continue in a standing position on the power plate. We're gonna hit start on the remote and let's begin. So we're gonna lift the leg, the hips up into a bridge. Make sure that you're only curled up to about the mid shoulder blade level. So you're not weight bearing on your neck. So you're gonna feel the back side of your body working and you wanna have your feet on the power plate, kind of like where the edge is. So you're at a 90 to acute angle at the knees. 
From here, you have the option to lower the hips and lift the hips if you'd like. So this is your option. Engage your abdominals, use your breath. Try to keep your head straight too, so try not to watch the TV too much for this one. So hinging down, pressing back up, use your breath. This is excellent because it's great for the whole backside of your body. Alrighty, good job. We're gonna pull the knees into the chest, lift up your head, neck, shoulders. Now you can always keep your head, neck, shoulders down if you'd like. Extend one leg out, we're doing 60 seconds of bicycles. So if your head, neck, shoulders is lifted, you wanna be gazing towards your upper inner thigh area. Otherwise, let your head go completely down. But what we don't want is we don't want our head to be hovering in the middle like this. So you're either all the way up looking towards your upper inner thighs or you're all the way down, whichever variation you'd like. Keep your low back pressing down. If your back feels sensitive, go to a higher angle. This is gonna make it nicer. And if you want more of a challenge, go just above the power plate, nice and low. Good job on your abs here. You guys are almost done with bicycles. Pull the belly button and extend the leg fully straight as the other knee bends in. You give yourself a little stretch. Good job, you guys. All right, now both knees come in. We have 60 seconds. Both legs go out to 45 degrees. Both knees come in. Rest your head if you'd like. Now, if your back is sensitive, go up to a higher angle. This is our nicer option. For more of a challenge, go to a lower angle. Most important thing is that your low back is pressing down firmly. So the whole time you keep your lower back firmly anchored into your mat beneath you. Use your breath. Make sure your shoulders aren't by your ears. So glide the shoulder blades down away from the ears. Knees bend into the chest, knees extend out. Great job. Scoop and hollow out your abdominal wall so you're pulling your belly button in tight towards your spine. Definitely working the core part of our body where about 60% of our muscles are located is in the torso or the trunk. Great job, you guys. Go ahead and place both feet down. We're gonna hit start on your remote we're gonna lift up into our spinal bridge. Now option to just hold here for the next 60 seconds, or you can bend one knee into the chest, lower the foot down and switch, your choice. Again, you're not curled onto your neck, you're just curled up to the mid shoulder blade level. Good, one knee into the chest, place that foot down and switch. You can take your hands to your hips here if you'd like to monitor that your hips are staying stable. So as you lift and lower, just monitor that your hips are not dipping. You wanna keep your core strong so the hips stay stable throughout this movement. Good job, you guys, you're almost done here. We just have one more ab exercise after this bridge exercise. Again, you can always keep both feet down if you would like to omit the marching. All right, let's slowly come all the way down. Great job, you guys. Extend your legs up straight. Flex your toes towards your nose. Grab onto both. You can rest your head down as well if you need to. We're gonna take both hands to one calf. Scissor stretch and switch. Scissor stretch and switch. Good, pull the belly button in. Now you could also do this with your head down. Same thing I said before. You're either curled all the way up, eyes gazing through the mid upper thigh area, or your head's down, but we don't wanna have the head in the middle. Give yourself a little stretch, stretch, and switch. Pull, pull, switch. It's a little hamstring stretch as we work our abs. Great job, you guys. You can do this with head up or down again. Low back is anchored, abdominals are tight. Use your breath. Good job, all right. Next, we'll move into block six, side body. Go ahead and hit repeat. Now we're gonna stand facing towards the TV. You can either take your um, arm down or up, depending on your height. Bring your leg up, keep a, stand, a bend in the standing knee, and little pulses up. Good. If you need to, you can also bend your knee here. 
Use your breath. Engage your abs, shoulders are down. You have a bend in your standing leg. So either one. Pull your belly button in tight. Make sure those shoulders are down away from the ears. Definitely feeling it in both of the glute hip region. Great job, you guys. You can always bend, do it with the bent leg as well. All right, good job, you guys. Hit repeat. We're going to face the other direction. Here we go. Bring your leg up, keep a, stand, a bend in the standing knee, and little pulses up. Good. If you need to, you can also bend your knee here. Use your breath. Engage your abs, shoulders are down. You have a bend in your standing leg. So either one. Pull your belly button in tight. Make sure those shoulders are down away from the ears. Definitely feeling it in both of the glute hip region. Great job, you guys. You can always bend, do it with the bent leg as well. All right, good job, you guys. Great job on your class. We're moving into our final block, block seven, balance, stretch, and center. Okay, good job, you guys. We're on our last block. Go ahead and hit repeat. Standing on, we're gonna go into a mini squat. From here, gently float one foot up and lower. Other leg, float and lower. Now, if you're comfortable, you could take your hands to your hips, balance and lower. We're just recentering our body after all of that exercising. Good job, you guys. Balance and lower. Good. At any time, you could place your hands on to the power plate, but we're beginning our cool down here. Great job. So gently lift one leg and lower, just recentering the body. Balancing if you'd like. You could take your hands anywhere that feels comfortable for you for balancing. Good, use your breath. Let those shoulders drop down. All right, good job, you guys. Go ahead and hit repeat. Leave your left leg on, step back. Plant the left heel down, toes up. We're going into a 30 second hamstring stretch. Square your hips as much as you can towards the front. Keep that knee very straight. You could hold on anywhere that is comfortable. Think of your toes coming back towards your nose. Pull up on your kneecap. So engage your quadricep muscle here as you're stretching. Good job. Okay, we're gonna bend our front knee, come down into a runner's lunge stretch. Squeeze the back leg glute, pull the belly button in tight, and you should feel a nice stretch all through that front of your hip flexor. Good, you can take your hands down if you feel comfortable. Good job. We'll start to make our way back up. All right, good job. Hit the repeat button. Place your right foot on. Hamstring stretch. Reach the toes back towards your nose. Extend and lift up on the quadricep muscle of your straight leg. Take your hands anywhere that feels comfortable. You can bring them down or hold on. Think of keeping your back straight, those shoulders nice and down. Our heels kind of reaching forward as the sits bone pulls backward. Good, nice stretch. And let's bend this top leg. Step back further if you need to. Come into your hip flexor stretch. Pull your belly button in. Squeeze the back standing leg glute, the one on the mat, and you're gonna feel a deeper stretch in that hip flexor. Feel free to come down if you'd like. Getting into a nice deep hip flexor stretch. Stretching is the best part of class. 
All right, we're going to start to make our way back up. Good job. Nice. Next, you're going to grab your hand pad, hit the repeat button, place your pad on, take both hands on, step back, come into an upside down letter V position here. So you're reaching your sit bones back and up, your heels are drawing down, and we'll just come into a plank for a moment, and then back into an upside down letter V. Just do this mo movement a few times, it should feel pretty nice. Good job, you guys. All right, we'll start to walk your feet in closer to the power plate. Hold this nice stretch here. We're gonna take our hands down to the feet. Let your head just completely hang upside down. And then we're gonna slowly walk our hands up the front of our legs, restacking your spine. Let your head, neck, shoulders be the last to arrive. And you guys are done. Great job. Good job, you guys, on your power plate class. Go ahead and just grab a spray bottle and please spray down all of your mat and your equipment. Have an awesome day. Red light method has changed my life in several ways. When I first got here, I was 70 pounds heavier. I limped in here. <laughs> um, so I was welcomed by such an attitude of just acceptance, helpfulness, encouragement. And so that was just very, uh, well, I was just glad, I was happy to be here for one thing, which is big for me. And then uh, when I did my first session, I immediately noticed a difference. I could move. I could, I could actually like squat and I could uh, do things that were very difficult for me to do because when I got here, I limped in. I noticed right away that I was able to do a workout after I could move easier. I had less pain. I was so happy. So I immediately signed up that day and I began my journey with Red Light Method. Red Light Method has changed my life. Uh, this is the first year I've ever had encountered sciatica flare-up, and I tried everything. I couldn't sleep more than two hours a night, couldn't stand too long, couldn't lay too long, and went to IV nutrition. I did chiropractors. I did acupuncture. Finally, x-rays found out I have spinal thesis, and basically vertebrae pushed forward, pinching on my sciatica. Um, so we started decompression therapy with the chiropractor. Um, several treatments, my last treatment, I could barely walk out, um, actually literally crying, uh, walking out of the building, and I was done. I was already a member of Red Light. I recall all of the medical benefits, so I decided to try. So I came in and it alleviated my pain enough to actually stand on the shake plate. Lo and behold, the next morning I woke up and I was able to actually get out of bed unassisted. So six treatments later of actual red light with the shake plate, I am at 98% recovery, almost back to myself.